In this video, we want to focus on modulus division, which is an arithmetic operator in Java. Modulus or remainder division is used to find the remainder of usually integer division. So if we did 10 mod 3 and you say, well, that's a percent symbol. The percent symbol does not have anything to do with percentages when it's used as an operator like this. It's used rather to find the remainder. And again, when we have 10 mod 3, it would give us 1 because 3 goes into 10 3 times with a remainder of 1. When we look at it this way, with both integer division and modulus division, we can see the usefulness of modulus division. Sometimes it's hard for beginning programmers to understand the difference between real division and integer division. When you have two integers on one side, it's going to give you only an integer and lop off the decimal place. In order to get the remainder, what we do is we use modulus division. And so now, if we go back to our third or fourth grade math class when we learned long division, it would look something like this. We would take 3 and divide it into 10. And 3 goes into 10 3 times. And that's where we get the 3 from. 3 times 3 is 9, so we take 9 out of 10, and that gives us 1. And so we would get a remainder of 1. So in this example, we see 10 divided by 3 is 3, but 10 modulusly divided by 3 is the remainder, which would be 1. Let's do another example. 10 divided by 7. 7 goes into 10 one time, and there's a remainder of 3. So if we look at it down at the bottom, we have 7 into 10, and that would be 1 time. So 1 times 7 is 7. 10 minus 7 is 3 and that would give us the remainder of 3. The purpose of modulus division is to give us the remainder when normal division is giving us the quotient. In this example, I really want to show a common use for modulus division. And you might notice a pattern in the output on the right. You see three ones followed by three zeros. Well, if we look at this, why are these three numbers giving us ones and these three numbers giving us zeros? The reason is, is because all three of these numbers are odd, whereas all three of these numbers are even. So if you modulously divide any number by 2, if you get a 1, it's going to be an odd number. Or if you get a 0, it's going to be an even number. In this example, we want to show another use. And it might not be obvious what we're trying to accomplish here, but when you divide a number by 10, what it's going to do with integer division is lop off the decimal place and give us all of the digits except for the last digit. And then if we modulously divide by 10, we're going to get the last digit. So you can see the top three numbers are exactly the same as what is in the print line statements, except for the last number has been removed. Whereas the bottom three print line statements are giving us the rightmost digit, 3, 8, and 6. So this is another common use of modulus division. Just to give you an example of what's happening to the top numbers, when you have 123 divided by 10, it would be 12.3 if we were using real division. But because we're using integer division, we know that the point 3 is not going to be rounded. It's just going to be truncated or lopped off. So we would get 12. On this slide, I've shown that modulus division can be used with real numbers. Now, it's not nearly as common to use modulus division with real numbers because real numbers already have a remainder, and it's expressed as the decimal point. But it is absolutely legal to use real numbers with modulus division. So let's see how they output. On the first system out print line, we have 12.3 mod 2. And 2 goes into 12 an even amount of times, 6 times. And the remainder would be 0.3. The next example, we have 5 mod 3.12. And the last example, we have 10 0 mod 3. And we know from the previous examples that 3 goes into 10 three times with a remainder of 1. And because it has the point 0 at the end, it's going to indicate that we're using real numbers, as in 1.0. So modulus division or remainder division in Java finds the remainder. It is usually used with integer division, although it can be used with real division. And don't forget, with integer division, we just lop off the decimal place. 
And because we lop off the decimal place, we need modulus division to give us what that remainder is that we've just lopped off. A common use for modulus division is to find whether a number is odd or even. If you take a number, modulusly divide it by 2, if it returns a 1, it's odd. If it returns a 0, it's even. Another common use is to find the rightmost digit. So if we take a number like 123, modulusly divide it by 10, we're going to get 3, or the rightmost digit. Modulus division is an important part of Java, which operation's purpose is to find the remainder.